Hey, have you have you heard about uh, these three letters CPT or these three letters OPT? If you never heard about it, then t watch this video till the end. I'm going to international office to talk with a director of international office to ask him one of the important questions of how to apply for CPT and I invite you to follow me because I'm going to explain what CPT is and how it's different from OPT along the way. So let's go. Okay guys, uh, I'm in uh, Dr. Paul Foster's office and uh, he's right here, so let's ask him a question. So Dr. Foster, please tell us um, how to apply for CPT, uh, very briefly. So CPT is a great opportunity for students to extend their learning from outside the classroom into the real world. Um, curricular practical training. Um, is you know essential I would say to all students. Um, application is pretty simple here at Montana State University Billings we ask the students to come in and talk to us individually we hold seminars during the semester about the CPT program to give students information but there are a couple of critical steps that students must take First of all, CPT means you are doing an internship for um, a salary or volunteer, but you have to receive academic credit from a course in order to do a CPT. So that means you have to work very closely with your college advisors, your career center, your advisor within your, your, your field of study. Secondly, we'll need information about where you're going to do the internship. We need a letter from the employer stating what you're going to be doing and how many hours are involved. It's really important, it's essential that the CPT be connected to your field of study. So if you are a biology major, your CPT should be doing something connected to the field of biology. Okay, so CPT, or in other words, curricular practical training, is the program that allows temporarily for the students with F1 visa to gain practical experience directly related to their major through employment or uh, paid or unpaid internship. And there's two things. First thing is that you have to complete your CPT before graduate, graduating. And second thing is that you can work full time, which is uh, 20 hours or more a week or part-time which is 20 hours or less a week but there is a but if you work full-time for 12 months you lose your eligibility for OPT and in order to learn more about OPT I suggest you to watch uh, the video of one of my colleagues his name is Saeed Desa on this channel he's one of the social media storytellers too okay I should keep going Okay, so the main difference between these programs, CPT and OPT, is the time period you're eligible for them and the type of work you're allowed to do. So there's three things. First things, you have to, you must complete your CPT before graduating. But with OPT, you can do it after or before. The second thing is that uh, with CPT, you can work for paid job or unpaid internship. With OPT, is mostly paid job. And the third thing is that uh, you will get course credits when you do your uh, CPT or it must be required by your major at university. Uh, but with OPT, uh, uh, it's not required. So yeah, okay, now let's go.